Hello, hello. Catherine, Lorena, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Henry. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how's everything there? Yeah. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Carla. Hello, Griselda. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hope everything is all right. Okay, so it's almost time. Well, actually, it's eight o'clock, right? I have uh, waited for a while, but I can see that I have two, four, six people, and it is a good time to start talking about what's new in in our english class right so we have like six participants and we're gonna start talking by hey what's new in english priselda good evening good evening este yo lo que estaba haciendo pues es como construyendo eh, oraciones con el present Contin, algo así. Present continuous. Ajá. Ajá, exacto. present continuous. Por ejemplo, por, 
for example, algo uh -huh. así, Abba. For example. Eh, tengo, my mom is 80, que, yeah. que dice, este, mi mamá está comiendo. Y también, my sister is working. Este, esa parte le he estado estudiando lo que mencionaban los compañeros, donde eh, tenía lo que es ciertas reglas. Que primero se coloca el subject más el verbo to be, y ahí lo que es el verbo, que se le agrega lo que es el ing más complement. Excelente. Very good. My mom is eating. Ok. Ok. Thank you very much, Griselda. Thank you for sharing. Hey, enjoy your meal. <laughs> You know, enjoy your meal. Uh, buen provecho. Enjoy your meal. Okay, now, Henry, thanks for being on time, Henry. Now, I hope you don't have any, any problems tonight, technical problems, and that you can share what you have been studying lately. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ayer me desconecté porque tuve problemas con la conexión y ya no me pude volver a conectar. Okay, so I hope you could uh, send a message in the WhatsApp group. Espero lo haya notificado en el grupo, Henry, para que los compañeros uh, que nos apoyan en, en la parte técnica hayan tomado apunte. Okay, so but Henry, what's new in English? Estaba trabajando en lo de la descripción de una persona. Description? Of, ah, ah. Ahorita la voy a... So what's... What is the description of a person? Ahorita le voy a decir lo que estaba trabajando. All right. So we are I am all... going to describe. I am going to describe our teacher to you. Okay. His name is Enrique Ernesto. Their last name are Portillo Morales. He is an exceptional person who, whom I admire. He speaks excellent English and he is passionate about what he does. He is characterized behaving a thick beard and always, always wearing glossy. Yo sé que me cuesta con la pronunciación, pero poco a poco voy a ir mejorando, profe. Yeah, I know. Hey, Henry, thanks for that description. Okay, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wow, a description of, the, of your teacher. <laughs> This is the first time somebody uh, describes me. Okay, so let's listen to Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca, what's new in English? Hello, good evening. Hello. Um, Uh, today I review profession, my family. Uh, oh, carpenter, astronomer, architect, dentist, baker, doctor, actor, actress, designer, carpenter, accountant. Well, uh, accountant. Ay, esa me cuesta contar. Accountant, accountant. Accountant, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, hello. Okay, now professions and occupations. Quite good. Lorena, I know that you want to share something with the group. Go ahead. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. Lorena Solomon. Hello, Lorena. What's new in English? Hello. Este sí, ahora estuve eh, practicando un poco los números, igual abecedario, porque siento que me cuesta un poco. Pero... Uh, go ahead with the ABC, please. Alphabet. <laughs> okay. A, B, C, D, E, eh, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, W, X, Y, Z. 
Okay, now think about numbers up to 200. Piense de, de, de los números de 10, 10 hasta el 200. Ya voy a regresar con usted, Lorena, ¿ok? De 10 en 10 hasta 200, ¿ok? Karel, okay. go ahead. Good, good evening, Karel. What's in English, Karel? Hi, good evening, teacher. Well, I learned about, about uh, E-N-G, e los verbos con el I-N-G, I-N-G, perdón. Y pues, la verdad, el presente continuo, que era lo que, que es lo que estábamos haciendo ahí. Y, pero en realidad me es un poco complicado. Ajá, uh -huh. so can you provide some examples, girl? Como, digamos, work. Eh, si estoy hablando que lo estoy haciendo ahorita, le agrego el ing, digo working. O el eat, y si es algo que estoy comiendo algo ahorita, digo eating. Mm, read, reading, y así. Read, reading, eat, eating. Uh -huh. uh, breath, breathing, uh -huh. um, etc. Right? Jump, CC, jump, jumping. jumping. All right. So uh -huh. I think you are familiarized with the topic tonight. Thank you very much, Carol. Irma. You're welcome, teacher. What's new in English, Irma? Good evening, everyone. I have, I have been practicing the words and the verse, the past and past continuous and the sentence the the verb plus b and g plus a and g some mm -hmm. examples for example i i am studying in this moment <laughs> and um, for example in past um, I, uh, I, I ar arose. Ah, okay. So verse in uh -huh. past tense. Okay. Yes. Okay. Continue studying that, right? Remember something new every single day. Joshua Artiga. Uh, hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Uh -huh. What's new in English, buddy? Uh, I I I was study, studying studying uh, mm -hmm. uh, the birds with ing at the end with my another co coworker. Ah, uh, really? Uh, so you 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 got a group? You got a a, a WhatsApp group? No, 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 no. Eh, a lo que me refiero es como la otra chica que estaba diciendo que también había ah, estado estudiando el right. ING. Ajá. Ah, ok. So ING, so ING. Well, we are gonna, we're gonna study something about it tonight. Ok, okay. Carol, 10, 20, go ahead. The numbers? Yeah, up to 200. Ok, 10... 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 200. Excellent. Thank you, Kiro. And finally, we're going to listen to Angel. Angel, go ahead. Good evening, Angel. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can listen to you. Uh, 
it. Um, sorry, I I don't understand. When can I do? Uh, well, it it is the 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 the, the permanent humble angel. Oh, oh uh, yeah, permanent humble, like to share something that you have learned today. Um, today I learned. Um, I don't much learn it word. Uh, but I ah I le pasé algunas este prendas de vestir con las que tenía problemas como lo es este tenía problemas con el jacket mm -hmm. lo confundía con coat right. y este le pasé Eh, le pasé alguno, algunas algunas prendas también que no que no conocí no entendía como por ejemplo eh, suite dress suite que es traje creo uh -huh. pero propiamente fue vago lo que busqué hoy teacher I'm sorry okay so remember that we have that permanent humble a volunteer somebody who wants to share something in the group no Okay, so we're gonna start with the class. So welcome everyone. I really <clears throat> like I really like to start by asking you what you've learned lately because you know English is a permanent um activity in which you need to study every single time you consider it's it's good for you to learn something. Okay. Now, as you were just mentioning, we're going to talk about present continuous. Some people call it like present progressive, but over here it appears as, as a present continuous. Present progressive, present continuous. Present continuous, present progressive. It's the same story, okay? It's the same. So if you listen to somebody saying, hey, uh, tell me one sentence in present progressive, so automatically you know that we're talking about present continuous, okay? So, well, in order for you to have a general idea about it, we're gonna see the video as we usually do. Later, you're gonna be like uh, creating something. Okay, so you're gonna create something tonight. You will see, I have the activity at the end or for the end of the class. So pay attention and let me know if you're able to listen to and to see the video. Hi, everyone. Do you see? Do you listen to? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's okay. listen to the information this guy is presenting. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. <clears throat> I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form the statements. Subject plus the verb to be, plus the verb, uh, plus ing, plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence, plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write So, you that see, here. the verb that we were just 
uh, practicing with clothes, right? Wear, wearing over here. We have with the ing. subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, guys, now I, I won't like replay the video. No, we're not going to see the video once again. I just want you to notice about something important the guy mentioned, right? It is in the chart. If you see the chart, you will notice that in order to create sentences, in present progressive or in present continuous, you need to use a subject, the verb to be, either in negative or in the positive form, and another verb in the ing form. Simple like that. You are wearing shoes. They are not wearing boots. I'm talking, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. <coughs> you are listening to the class just right now. Okay? Something that you are doing at the moment of talking, people. That's what we are talking about. Now, we're going to have some extra info because I know that you uh, already saw that video. Well, I got some extra information about the present continuous because I, I know that it is important to have it as clearly as possible. Now, in this link... Well, I will share it with you. I, I like to share the links we are just just seen during the class. So you you will get the, the link in the chat. And also you are gonna get an exercise over here. So about it. So do me the favor if you are able to open it, that would be all right. Okay, so well, let's see what's what's going on with, with the rules about the present continuous. The topic, present continue. We have form. And in order to form present continuous, uh, the verb to be, it is just. Plus, if another verb in the ing form. Okay? Now, it's the same story we, that we saw or, or the same information we saw in the video. What do we need at the beginning? A subject. What would be a subject? I, he, <laughs> she, or it. You, we, or they. Those are the subjects, right? After the subject, you need to use the verb to be. Okay, and we already know that the verb to be is am, is, and are. And we already know that this is called third person singular, and that this is called first person singular, and that these are called like, 
a uh, second person plural, uh, first person plural, and third person plural. And you are clear that with I, we use am. Um, with he, she, it, we use is. With you, we, and they, we use are. Okay, and after that, as you mentioned at the beginning of the class, we're going to encounter different verbs in ing form. Okay, like talk, <clears throat> talk, talking, talking, eat, eating, eating, eating. eating. Learn. 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 learn, learning, do, doing, doing. 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 go, going, going. 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 All right, going. so you see, I think it is this, this, uh, the structure is not complicated. We're just going to see, um, or we're gonna practice a little bit uh, more uh, by having some exercises there. Now, well, we have structure, once again. We have affirmative statements, okay? Such as, well, over right here, you have subject, of uh, the verb to be, plus another verb, in ing form, you say plus plus people plus subject plus uh, where to be plus where in ing form plus. All right. Now let us listen and let us repeat. Now you can see the meaning of the sentence in case you 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 don't know the verb that we are presenting here. Listen and repeat. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. Uh -huh. I'm talking. Now listen carefully because I can notice that some people saying like, like this. You know this? What is that? How do you say that in how do you pronounce that? Um an, right? So but over here, how do you pronounce this? Um, um. this is same. Mm, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, this is an. I'm. Uh, you you I'm cannot I'm. say I'm talking. I'm, no, because you are talking about an. But if you I'm. say I'm talking, now yes, mm, the the mm sound I'm. is important. Okay. I am. Okay. Once again, listen to the guy. I'm talking now. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. talking. I'm talking. Don't say <laughs> and. And, mm -mm. and, you know, and is a person, right? So, but I'm talking. Listen to the next one. He's eating. 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 He's eating right? He's eating. They're learning. They're learning. They're learning. They're learning. Now, something else, guys. How do you pronounce They're this? They're learning. They're learning. They are learning. Do you remember about this? What is this, people? They're. They're. Yeah, but, but what is it? They are. No, I mean, what is this? Possessive well. adjective, possessive uh -huh. adjective. Remember, we have studied that. But you say there, and how do you say this? There, and actually you have also this one, right? So, what's my point? ¿Cuál es mi punto? Que hay palabras que son muy similares, pero que hay que aprender bien la pronunciación. There, there, there. There, 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 there. Just watch they out, people, because pronunciation is quite important, okay? Especialmente they nosotros que estamos aprendiendo un nuevo lenguaje, debemos prestar atención a esos detallitos, porque inglés tiene esa, no dificultad, sino más bien ese detalle que debemos de enfocarnos mucho en cómo se pronuncian las palabras para que nuestra que nuestro mensaje sea claro. They're learning. Ajá, they're learning. 
there, there, there. That's different, right? So we also have negative statements like, uh, in, in the structure we have here is like subject, the verb to be, auxiliate, uh, auxiliate, I mean, then you have not, okay? And then you have another verb in, in, in the ing form, subject, verb to be, not plus verb in ing form. We have some examples. I'm not talking. Uh huh. I am not talking. I'm not talking. Now, I'm son. Not talking. Excellent. I'm not talking. I'm, I'm, not, talking. Talking. I'm not talking. All right. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. He's not eating. Not. He's, He's not eating. Not eating. Not. Take a look He's at it. Yeah. Eating. Because you can not. contract his or you can contract is not. Yeah, is you can say he's not or he isn't eating the ing form, so, right? Yeah. So we also have no. questions. <clears throat> we also have questions, and tomorrow we're gonna try to put them into. I mean, we're gonna try to put everything into practice. Okay, I will let you know what's coming tomorrow. But well, in the in the question form, we need to have the verb to be at the beginning, subject. I mean, plus subject plus another very ninety form plus the question mark. Examples. Talking. Are you talking? 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 Since we are since we are just uh, reading a question, we need to make emphasis in the intonation, right? So it's yes. not like you are talking, you aren't talking, but are you talking? Are you talking? Are you talking? Now you see it's a question, right? And making that intonation is important also in English. Is he eating? Is he eating? eating. Is he eating? Is he eating? Uh, is he eating? Eating. eating, sorry. Are they learning? Are they learning? Are they, are they learning? Are they learning? Are they learning? Well, and you have more information. Now, remember that we have uh, different ways to use the present continuous, right? And it is said that we use it in order to talk about something that's happening at the moment of talking, okay? Present continuous is used to talk about something that's happening at the moment of talking. Examples. I'm studying now. I'm studying now. Okay. Are you studying, people? Yes. 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 Uh, where are you studying? English. English, right? English. So we are studying English. So look at the second one. He's eating at the moment. Uh huh. He's eating at the moment. He's eating at the moment. He's Good. Eating. Now, eating. now we have it. We have a question. Is it raining? Is it raining? Is it raining? Is it raining? Uh -huh. Second way to use the present continuous. We also use it in order to talk about something that's happening, uh, um, that it's actually happening, but not necessarily at the moment of talking. In this case, we use expressions such as currently, lately, these days. Okay, currently. Lately, in these days, examples. They're learning English. They're learning English, right? Just right now, yes. But in a period of time, that's right. You are you are going to stay, or you have been studying English for one month, right? For for less than a month. So you are studying, or you are learning English. She's currently looking for a job. Uh, she's currently looking for a job. She's currently looking for a job. Yeah, now you know the meaning of currently, right? Currently, currently, or currently, you have it in, in Spanish okay. there. Currently. Yeah, are you working much lately? Are you working much lately? Mm -hmm. Much? Lately? Lately, right? Now, uh, well, these, I, I want, 
Well, I will explain. I will. I will provide. This is this like the last part of the present continuous because this topic you're going to continue studying this topic lead leader. Este tema lo van a lo van a ver más a profundidad en otros en otros niveles. Así que lo esta parte lo voy a decir un poquito rápido y no voy a adentrarme mucho en ello para que empecemos a practicar y crear algo en inglés. We use present continuous to talk about something that you have already decided. And um, this activity will be uh, performed in the, in, the, in the near future. Okay, so when you use it, it indicates uh, that you are um, very sure about what's coming in the future. Examples. I'm going to the party tonight. I'm going to the party <laughs> tonight. Then, He's not coming to class tomorrow. He's not coming to class tomorrow. And the last one. Are you working next week? Are you working next week? Well, this is the explanation. Do you have any question, people? Any question about present continuous? No question. No questions. Okay, so let us try to practice. Let us, yes. well, this is for tomorrow. Let us try to practice. We're going to develop this and then you are going to you're gonna create something, okay? We are going to spend like mm, five minutes over here. Yeah, fine. And then you are going to create something in English tonight. Well, present continuous. Now, uh, according to what we have here says, may present continuous positive or negative statements. I study at the moment. What's missing there? M. Okay, M. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. studying. Studying. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Let me see. I don't remember if it, if it is required to. Uh, no, it's it's. I'm studying at the moment. Sure, this is the one. So. You need to include only the the missing part, like um I am studying only like like this one. Let's see, I will check it now. No. So make the press continuous facility. Oh man. Let me see. I'm studying at the moment. So, well, actually, we have it in the correct way. Now, what do we have in the second one? I'm not sleeping. Negative. Yeah, it's negative. No. M. I'm. I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Next one. You play badminton tonight. Are you to play badminton tonight? Uh, is that a question? You are. No. Not, it's affirmative. Okay, not affirmative. You are. You are, you are playing. 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 Yeah, playing badminton tonight. Okay, next one. Oh, uh, well, I forgot about this. At the beginning, you need to use capital letter, right? We watch TV. We are watching. We are watching. Capital are letter watching. at the beginning. We are. Are. Watching. Uh, watching TV. Number five, she is not working in Spain. She is not she working in Spain. She is not working She's in not. Spain. She is not or isn't working in Spain. All right. Not working in Spain. 
And the last, no, we have more than that. We have like, <clears throat> what about number six? He not wait for the box. He's not, no, oh, he's he not. isn't wait he's for, not. waiting for the bus. He isn't, he's not waiting for the bus. He's not waiting. He's not at the waiting. Bus. For a bus. Number seven, they read. They are. They, they are, are reading. reading. They are reading. Oops. They are reading. ING form. They're reading. We not go to the cinema tonight. We are not we going are to the not cinema going. tonight. We are not going to the cinema tonight. Good. Let me see how many do we have here. No, well, we have a lot over here. So do me the favor to, to finish them at home. Okay, we have 20. And I want I want you to create something new. Okay, no las vamos a hacer todas. Recuérdense que ahí tienen el enlace. Ustedes sí la van a hacer, ¿verdad? Todos los ejercicios les recomiendo que los terminen. Pero ahorita el tiempo pues ya no me da para que podamos seguir hasta la número 20. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Ok. Well, we have like 5, 10, 15 minutes, right? So, van a, vamos a hacer algo. Se van a tomar que, tres minutos para dar la vuelta ahí en su casa y ver qué están haciendo sus seres queridos. Ok. La mascota, mamá, papá, el esposo, el hermanito, um, los abuelos, y nos lo van a venir a contar. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que está sucediendo ahorita en cada uno de sus casos? ¿Ok? Ok. We have hey, four minutes. Tómense tres, cuatro minutos, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. See you later. See you in four minutes. Los veo en cuatro minutos. Van a dar la vuelta en su casa. Hey. Van a ver qué es lo que está sucediendo. I'm coming. Okay, Joshua, hey, what's what's happening at home? <laughs> All the people is in the first floor. They are watching the TV to be exactly Miss Universal. <laughs> okay. Everybody <laughs> is, got, is, is gathered there watching a movie. Miss Universal. Uh, the, the Miss Universe. Uh, oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, what else, Joshua? So something else? No. <laughs> no, but they just everything so is happening pay there. Attention. They are paying yes. attention. They are very concentrated. Yes. <laughs> like you in the English class. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Now, who wants to share the information? Hey, what's happening at home, people? Volunteers, what's happening at home? No. Nothing, teacher. One. All people's, all people's, um, is a dream. 
Uh, okay, you say all the people are. Uh, all the people are dreaming. Are dreaming. Oh, dreaming. <laughs> uh, they are dreaming. Uh -huh. oh, sleeping. Dreaming. Uh -huh. uh, they are sleeping. Oh, they are dreaming. They are sleeping. That's everything that's happening at home, Juan Antonio. I repeat, please. That, that's it. Is that everything happening at home? Eso es todo lo que sucede ahorita en casa. Ya todos duermen. Todos están dormidos ya. Ah, sí. Ok. Ok, um, Rick. <laughs> ok, thank you. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Another volunteer. <clears throat> What's happening at home? What about the dog? What about the cat? What about the parrot? Um, What? My... Angel, Angel. My daughter is in bed playing Mario Kart on my Nintendo Switch. My your wife... dad, uh, sorry, Angel, you, is your dad playing video games now? Yeah, Mario Kart and Animal you, Crossing. Your dad, you, is, is that your dad or your no, brother? No, my daughter. Ah, your daughter. daughter. I hear, I hear, I, I hear that. No, so that's no, why no, I asked, no. right? It, it's, your, it's your daughter, <laughs> daughter. It's my pronunciation is bad, sorry. Ah, okay, so <laughs> yes, but I got surprised. Yo yeah, pensé, no, de no, veras no, que me father... sorprendió. Yo pensé que su padre era el que estaba jugando no, Mario Kart. My father don't like video games. <laughs> <laughs> He's like playing soccer and, and show show soccer. Ah, and okay. My wife is lying down practicing English with the Duolingo app. And Excellent. My dog is sleeping. Hey, congratulations to your wife. Thank you. <laughs> okay, congrats. Okay, tell her that she is doing a great job. Thank you, uh, Angel. Anybody else? What's Teacher. Hello, Lorena. <laughs> right now, my children are playing the curious about my English class. My grandmother is upset because of foot pain. My baby is my arms. Okay, <laughs> so it, 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 I think there's a mess there. Like, oh, how many children do you have, Lorena? Uh, excuse me? How many children? One, two, three? Uh, uh, four. Four children? <laughs> wow. Yes. I think they my are... Baby, my ultimate baby is mm, two, two meses? Two months? Two months. Oh, it's a little... It's, it's a... <laughs> It's a baby, right? It's yes. a two months baby. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. And so the baby is the baby listening to the English class? Yes. Excellent. Ay, vamos a tener algo, otro, otra personita bilingüe. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing, Lorena. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. What's happening at home, people? Anybody else? What is happening at home? No more participants. Well, I will choose then. In my case, uh, ah, Irma. my dog is sleeping and my boyfriend uh, watching his cell phone in the social media. Okay, so hey. Your dog is sleeping now. It is supposed that he is like taking care of the house. Se supone que es horario para que él esté cuidando la casa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, y está dormido el perrito. Okay, so. Okay, pretty good. That's it, Irma. That's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Karen, what's new or what's happening at home now? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my mom and my dad are watching TV. And my brother is playing game in his computer. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> That's it. And you are in you are learning English, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Paola. What's happening at home? Yeah. 
in my house there are only my grandfather um i am he is already um sleep he is uh, 19 19 98 mm, yeah. 98 uh, 98 years old he's sleeping now huh is he sleeping now Sí, está dormido. Ok, so he's sleeping. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Henry, what's happening at home? My family is having dinner right now. Um, the dog and my cat are sleeping. A dog and the cat are sleeping. <laughs> well, they are supposed to be like taking care of the house, buddy. Okay. Uh, Jose Fernando, what's what's happening at home? <coughs> Jose Fernando Urbina. El, el, uh, <laughs> what is happening at home, Fernando? Um, sleeping, durmiendo todo. Everybody is sleeping now. Everybody is sleeping now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, well, Griselda, what is happening now at home? Yes. My mom uh, and my grandma are watching TV. <clears throat> my brother and sister are sleeping. Ah, uh, they are sleeping now. Hey. What time is it, people? We're like 10, 10? Hey, todos duermen no. temprano, la mayoría. No son las nueve todavía. Okay, Ingrid, what's happening at home? Veamos, tiene que haber un hogar en donde ahorita tiene que haber un, un desorden con niños, con, con bullicio. Hi, okay, Ingrid, mine. veamos. That's, your, that, that's Rebecca. Ah, ya nos va a contar, Rebecca, qué está sucediendo en casa ahorita. Okay, Ingrid, what's happening at home now? Este, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my, host, my husband is sleeping. Y my, da my daughter are watching TV. Your daughter is watching TV. Uh -huh. My daughter is watching TV. Okay, thank you. Sí, yo and you are <laughs> learning English. Good. Now, now I wonder what's happening at Rebecca's house. Rebecca, go ahead. Well, my baby is sick. Oh, I'm sorry. He's crying, crying, crying. He's crying now, I'm sorry. And um, um, my mom uh, with my other uh, two children and, and playing the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, they are very uh, it's, it's a very tiny I'm very tired. And you are very tired. Okay, <laughs> but that's good. You know, it's part of life, right? Especially when you have children. Okay, the child, children are very active, right? Miren, no les den dulces en la noche a los niños. Eso es un, eso es explosivo, darle dulces a los niños en la noche, okay? Creo que ustedes lo saben mejor que yo. Agüita o algo, pero que no lleve azúcar. Carly, Carla, van. Okay. Okay, Rebecca, thank you. Carla, Vanessa, go ahead. Yeah. Um, my my nieces are watching um, TV. Um, Sometimes they're, ¿cómo se dice? Gritar. They shout. What? Or they shout. Shout. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sometimes they, they shout. 
and, and my brother takes care of them. And my mom walks uh, the dog. Uh, oh, yeah, the mom. Your, your mom is walking the dog now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, so she, but she, is well, she doing it? Is she doing what? it now? Lo está paseando ahorita? Uh huh, yeah. Ah, okay, so she's walking the dog. Okay. Walking. Yeah, walking, walking the dog. She's walking the dog. Walking. Okay, the dog. <clears throat> remember we have been studying about present continuous, right? Present continuous. Oh. Now, listen, we're going to stand on here. Nos vamos a detener acá, pero sin antes. Um, Recordarles de que el día de mañana tienen una tarea especial. ¿Cuál es? Una historia. Exacto. ¿Acerca de? ¿O qué debe de incluir? Los los posesivos, ¿ok? Oh, sí. Recuérdense que hemos estudiado tres, ¿verdad? Tres maneras de hablar de posesión. El possessive noun case, el possessive adjective, el possessive pronoun. Esas tres formas o esas tres estructuras deben de estar en la historia que nos van a contar. Eh, Lorena. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, my husband is that because I didn't met him in the in he he ill my with my baby. <laughs> oh, that's why he's sad. <laughs> okay, I I'm dice hola. Él dice hola. <laughs> yes, hello, 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 hello. Lorena's husband, right? Yes. Okay, so hello, hello. Well, it's a pleasure to see him in the class. Hey, so para el día de mañana, verdad, todos listos porque todos van a participar. Okay. Es una excelente manera para demostrarse a ustedes, principalmente a ustedes, que, sus, uh, que su aprendizaje está siendo significativo. Cuando yo creo algo, cuando yo uh, presento algo, estoy demostrándome a mí mismo, primero, que sí puedo y que estoy dando los pasos correctos. Segundo, pues demuestro en la clase de que a mis compañeros que también voy, voy dando el paso a, a la par de ellos, ¿ok? Que no me voy quedando atrás, ¿verdad? Esa es la intención, que el grupo vaya eh, de alguna manera a un mismo ritmo. Por ahí me gustó, me gustó algo que sucedió al inicio. Este, alguien pues dijo, eh, yo practico el, el abecedario porque todavía considero que no lo manejo al 100. ¿Está mal eso? No, está súper bien. Está muy bien porque de nada sirve de este decir, bueno, yo ya puedo esto y lo otro y en realidad a futuro pues es, vamos a quedar mal y no hemos aprendido como lo necesario. ¿verdad? Entonces es mejor desde ahorita que estamos en el básico uno dar los pasos correctos y tratar de ir a, a un mismo ritmo. Si no, si no este, como van los que aprenden como más rápido pero por lo menos ir este, dando el paso eh, en el tiempo indicado, ¿verdad? Eh, Lorena, no sé si hay algo más. No, no, te he ah, solo ah, okay. que me por la manito. Ah, ok, very good. So, sí, que entonces... no revisamos, perdón, que no revisamos las lecciones, ¿verdad? Que ah, me... con... ¿Las lecciones de, de la plataforma? Ajá. Uh, sensei, es cierto, ya no nos quedó el espacio. Pero, bueno, ¿saben qué? Mañana nos vamos a dedicar a, a escucharlos, su historia, que nos, que nos presenten y que nos muestren dónde están aplicados los procesivos. Cuando terminemos, vamos a, a revisar las, algunas, algunas de las actividades en la plataforma. Recuérdense no dejar de lado la plataforma. Mañana seguimos con la clase para recuperar la hora que perdimos esta semana, ¿ok? Okay. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. 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 Good